Well, when uh, myself and my wife both heard it being sort of talked about in church, we just thought that's a good thing to do, um, reaching out to vulnerable people. And it's good to do church out of church in the community. Pray that out of tonight there will be just tremendous conversations and that we will just be a transparent witness for you tonight. I think it's a great opportunity to um, just serve God in the community uh, basically and to just show that um, God's a God of relationship and that he wants a relationship with people and it's just a great opportunity to do that. 99288 signing in. The interesting thing with um, Nightlight is when I first was looking at the problems of uh, the town at night, we very quickly realised that it wasn't something that the enforcement agencies could deal with. We couldn't just go and arrest the troublemakers and cart them away because a lot of them weren't actually doing any law breaking. So when looking at other areas, it seemed that um, street pastoral schemes run by churches were having a very good impact on, on the nighttime economy. So I uh, immediately contacted the churches in the town to see if there was any um, commitment to trying to establish this type of scheme. And I discovered when talking to St Michael's that they were actually on the verge of setting up this scheme night And is that to live there or is it just yeah. to live there? Well, yeah. Aww. 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 well, all the best in that. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. It's really nice to see you. Take care. Take care. We are uh, looking out for people who perhaps need help to taxes. Uh, we give out water and cups of tea. Um, we also give out flip-flops to ladies who've got rather silly shoes on. OK, green, pink, orange. Pink, we also will administer first aid, um, we'll assist the police, um, and if there's any trouble, we're there, and we try and help as much as we can without getting in the way. It's more of a responsibility, I Well, I think what you do is, is a major responsibility. You're, we don't confront or challenge we're just there, so in a way, nine times out of ten, we're seen as a friendly face. The streets are a lot different now than they were when we initially went out. Um, and just, it's not necessarily quieter, and it's not necessarily that people aren't getting drunk anymore, but I think that they're safer. Have a nightlife rule! <laughs> I think the impact that nightlight has had on Aberystwyth has been immense, really. Um, as I mentioned, uh, it's not one agency that can solve the problem. It requires partnership working, it requires a multi-agency approach. And Nightlight has slotted in as a very important part of this jigsaw. It was seen very clearly on what we call Mad Friday here, which is the, the week before Christmas, when all the businesses go out to celebrate uh, the end of, of trading. The town is exceedingly busy and there's quite often a lot of trouble on that night. Um, this last year, um, the neighbourhood policing team, myself and Nightlight, were out there on the street from about 11 o'clock at night, handing out bottles of water, handing out lollipops, talking, and Nightlight in particular, talking to people on the street, calming down the atmosphere, and it was actually palpable how, the effect that they had on that particular night. I think they, they must be congratulated on, on how they have contributed to the town becoming a more friendly place at night. This is what Abrus was all about, you know, the street support people. You can't, you can't beat this. I think it's made us more aware of the needs to be in the community and like to, to see that that's where Jesus would have been um, had he been here now. Um, and I think that's really challenged us as a congregation. It's challenged us more to be active and it's challenged, challenged us more to pray. I think a lot of people in the community are acknowledging um, the fact that we're there in different ways and that it's actually the church, like, out on the street. Um, and I think that's really positive. OK, uh, we've gone past the uh, shipping castle and moving down, towards, um, down the road towards Remus. 